Don't be fools, don't follow my rules. Welcome back in Advice My Style. We have Masha. We were both partying like crazy yesterday. I was the king of a dance floor, girl. Like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah. She fell down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> so the winner, that's the winner. <laughs> and uh, we are making a makeup video tutorial for the new year. We will be copying Brianna's makeup on a white girl. So I'll show you how to make skin a bit more bronzy like. And we also modify it a little bit so you'll be more glamorous for the new year. Tin Touche Clara foundation all over the face that will give her a lovely glow. Make sure you apply foundation on this part because here we'll apply a lot of black colour and it needs to be really nice and smooth. I'll apply pressed powder all over the eyelid first to set the foundation. If you have oily eyelids, uh, don't apply foundation, just apply powder over. And then especially on this part, put it on here because here the eyeshadow will need to slide smoothly. First, I'll apply Kiko Milano Dope Dope. <laughs> I still don't know how to say it. Eyeshadow here. To imitate the crease, go in, that's my MAC 217 brush. That's where her eyelid ends. So I go in and just imitate the crease so it's slightly darker. This is actually like contouring. Warm beige, slightly sparkly Kiko Milano eyeshadow because this will give her a bronze look and you apply it just up till where you did the darker line so you blend the edges. I'll apply Yves Saint Laurent's pencil like an eyeliner. You can use an eyeliner also um, so I go here up and then in the end you need to open an eye so open it now close it, this is where the line breaks, that's why we opened it. We just avoid it and we'll modify it here, I blend it, so this will be a technique that will actually suit everyone. Rihanna has it here because her lid doesn't break, right? But we need to go up, we need to make like a curve here. This needs to be a curve and then we go in. You can extend this line when you have eyes open so you know where it goes. Now, you need to connect this line here with the lower one and uh, just go around the eye and then we go also on inside. So just encircle an eye everywhere. If you have a very downturned eye here, just lose this part, forget about this part. Concentrate on the outer one because this is how you make a cat eye. The eye will look far more lift. Encircle an eye with the black pencil also inside if you have fair blonde eyelashes, really make sure that you put it in here between the eyelashes because for girls that have dark that's not a problem because it doesn't show. But for all you blonde girls here, be careful. I take a thicker brush now, this is actually my brush for under eyes, for, for concealer. And I go on the line because it will be easier to smudge it, um, easier to blend. Look, if you just go over the line and it makes it really nice and soft. And it needs to be a waterproof pencil. We apply waterproof because now this won't travel on the face. You can be out a whole night and you'll look great. I'll pencil the lips with Kiko Milano 702 pencil and this is the part that goes down. Lower lip is great but I want to pull these lips up here so this will give them that sexiness that Rihanna's having. She has a very full upper lip. They go here and slightly more around, so you make round lips. I'll apply a Kanibo lipstick because I told you I'm really poor. I don't have money this December. It was just crazy. I spent it so much. So if you want that perfect lipstick, just buy it from MAC. It's amazing. They also give money into charity and uh, buy that one so you have a perfect shade. It actually suits everyone. I'll apply contours just on her forehead because she already has this amazing bone structure. I don't need to put anything in. But we'll apply blush there. Though for the blush, click on that video that you see on the screen. It will open in a new window. This technique you've seen already before. Just really pull your hair up and uh, blend it, blend it in so you get this 3D shape. I'll be applying this MAC Peach Powder over the face 
because I want to bronze the face slightly and I also want to mattify it because I think that if the face shines with this more fashion like makeup it's not that cool right I put it on my cotton thing <laughs> look I just dust it off like this da, 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 da. you see that <laughs> so now oh wait dust everywhere <laughs> it will go, it will go. I put my fingers in it like this and then I put it on the face but you really need to tap it like this in your hand before because otherwise you have too much powder on. So I just press it in and this will give her a bit of a bronzy undertone. My final drops of Touche Clan number one under the eye to cover all imperfections and especially the dark circles she had from last night when she fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Masha already has a lovely structured face with her cheek here in, I still contour it that we get more defined face. So I go from the middle part of the ear under her bone towards her mouth because this will prolongate the face. Don't struggle too much with this technique because you never get it perfect. That's why I think Rihanna shot from her side also. Happy New Year to everyone. I wish you all the best. Uh, make some nice resolutions. Stop smoking or whatever you're doing bad. And uh, we'll see you in the next year. I just wanted to say a big, big thank you because you've been with me for two years. I'm so happy that you guys comment on my videos. So uh, write me questions now. I'm doing this Q&A uh, video and uh, write me whatever you like, I try to help you my best, give me some suggestions for the next year and uh, have fun. So see you soon, take care, bye bye.